It's important to understand that when it comes to the basic functionalities, CPU, GPU, and TPU can do all of the same thing for the most part. The difference comes in how fast and how well each one of these is able to perform our machine learning tasks for us. The CPU is the general purpose processor that we all know and love today based on the von Neumann architecture that is found in every computer. It has great flexibility, which means that it can be used with many applications. But when you're dealing with CPUs, the hardware of a CPU doesn't know the next calculation until it reads the instructions. In neural networks, we know that many calculations are predictable, but the CPU needs to first read the instruction, execute them one by one, and access the memory every single time. And that results in a low throughput. So if you have quick prototyping that requires maximum flexibility, the CPU is the way to go. Or if you have simple models that do not take long to train. Alternatively, if you have small models with a small effective batch sizes. With models that are dominated by custom TensorFlow operations which are written in C++, or with models that are limited by the available I.O. or the networking bandwidth of the host system. Now, GPUs, in contrast to CPUs, use thousands of ALUs to execute huge computations in parallel, such as matrix multiplication in neural networks. GPUs also suffer from the same problems as CPUs since it's still a general purpose processor, which is not only used for matrix multiplication. For every set of calculations, it has to read instructions and access memory, which increases complexity. GPUs are still very good for usage on the following use cases. So if you have models for which the source does not exist or is too onerous to change, GPUs are good for that. Or if you have models with a significant number of custom TensorFlow operations that must run at least partially on CPUs. Or if you have models with TensorFlow operations that are not available on cloud TPU. And lastly, for medium to large models with larger effective batch sizes. Google designed cloud TPUs as a matrix processor specialized for neural network workloads. TPUs can't run word processors, control rocket engines, or even execute bank transactions, but they can handle massive matrix operations that are used in neural networks at really fast speeds. The primary task for TPUs is matrix processing, which is a combination of multiply and accumulate operations. TPUs contain thousands of multiply accumulators that are directly connected to each other to form a large physical matrix. This is called a systolic array architecture. No memory access is required during the matrix multiplication process. As a result, TPUs can achieve a high computational throughput on neural network calculations. TPUs are good for the following scenarios. So if models are dominated by matrix computations, TPUs are the way to go. Or if you have models with no custom TensorFlow or PyTorch or JAX operations inside the main training loop. Or for models that train for weeks or months at a time. And lastly, for large models with large effective batch sizes.